And so I'm just going to spend five minutes sharing with you Club Revelation plan. So just to give you some backdrop here, just as a reminder, so Club Revelation started after Ramadan two years ago. Uh, to two years ago, we started after Ramadan. And, um, uh, and what we've mainly been doing for the last couple of years is like a thematic approach. So actually, in, in a way, like similar, similar to how we've been doing recently, we take one topic like Iman or Islam or Ihsan or Shirk or Kufr or Nifaq or Dhikr or whatever, right? A whole lot of um, different topics we've covered. Uh, sometimes like looked at the sun and the moon or, as I said, vision and blindness. We looked at difference and diversity, uh, mountains, um, Ulul al the people of insights, so all of these different themes. Uh, we looked at Dua. We did some short chapters and we did some uh, medium length chapters through Al-Hadid as well. So in the last kind of couple of years, you know, all these different things. So anyway, people have come and gone and what have you. And alhamdulillah, we have the current sort of membership that's there. Uh, and uh, the, uh, some months back, actually, I, I kind of uh, resolved that I'd like to start to now do a journey sequentially through the Quran, right? Uh, to actually now go it through bit by bit. And one of the, uh, one of the things that, um, one of the reasons actually for me as well was to, to really force us to engage with some of the, the content in the Quran that I would say, let's put it this way, is most difficult to decode. I think that's the, how to put it. You see, um, a lot of what we've gone through, for me, is quite simple. It's like simple material, in a sense. Simple in the sense that it's not difficult, actually, to appreciate what, uh, or to start to appreciate the implications, practical implications for us in our lives individually. But what I'm really interested in, and what I'm really interested in us going on a journey together on as well, and for people to understand better as well, is that is simultaneously from a micro perspective, how do I change? What do I do? How do I, you know, or I'm all on that pragmatism, right? On an individual level, but also on a macro level, like uh, as I've shared with, uh, you know, me uh, sort of members uh, re recently in previous sessions, it's like how, in what way is the Quran relevant and a manifesto for change at a societal level today? So living in wherever, United Kingdom, States, Canada, you know, or, uh, Australia or Malaysia, wherever you are, you're all in different places like Western Europe, et cetera. Like, how do we understand and really communicate the, um, the value proposition uh, of faith and of revelation in our societies today? So I think one of the fundamental things we're missing nowadays is narrative. Right? We don't have good narratives on things. And narratives need to be authentic to uh, what we believe, but, and they need to be relevant to the context. So in addition to all of the kind of stuff that we've been doing just now, uh, in terms of, and in this series, in terms of personal change and faith and all of that, would also try to consider, okay, well, from a Quranic standpoint, uh, not just the, the, the position or the principle, but also the approach and the narrative that it makes sense for us to have when we are, for example, now trying to involve ourselves in things that affect us and all people, in terms of starting with, um, uh, starting with addressing the problems of, say, disbelief, specifically disbelief, almost like philosophically speaking, uh, but also in terms of uh, issues that confront people, uh, economic issues, the social issues, the cultural issues, the political issues, right? Environmental, all of these things. So what are our narratives? So I think this is hopefully what's going to be, again, a really interesting part of this as well. And remember, the, the, the challenge here is in this kind of decoding. For me, I believe the biggest challenge is that presents itself to believers today amongst us is uh, the right kind of contextualization of a revelation that came in 7th century Arabia. So a revelation now that we're trying to, um, if you like, whose implications we're trying to keep alive in 21st century world. Yeah, and it's a very, very different world. There's so many similarities in some senses, but they're very, it's very different as well. So how do we do that? So all of this, inshallah, is what we're going to explore in this journey. So it will be you know, emotionally, spiritually enriching, but also intellectually, hopefully uh, demanding as well. I think challenging in a way, like get you to think about bigger issues as well and how we uh, can think about understanding them and addressing them, uh, all with the aim of fixing perspective. Okay, all right. So this page has just gone live this morning. Okay, so um, doors are open today now to join club revelation and registration will close at the end of next week towards the end of the, uh, on the end of the sort of 29th of ramadan so i'm just going to go through it briefly and then you can look through the details ask any questions after this so what are we saying here bring revelation to life in your life even if you're busy or a beginner in your quran or arabic journey 
Club Revelation is a unique online Quran club for English-speaking Muslims who want to connect with God's final revelation in a deep, relevant, and actionable way. Build a closer relationship with your Lord and experience the transformational power of revelation in your day-to-day -day life. Our journey through the Quran begins Sunday, 30th of April. So today is the, what's today? The 9th. So 16th, 23rd off, uh, off, last 10 days and nights and, and, uh, and Eid and everything. Um, and then 30th, inshallah, this continues. Uh, live on Sundays uh, at 11 uh, and then on demand as well. So understand the meaning of key messages. What is God actually saying? Experience the Quran as though you're being addressed directly. Discover what it means for you. Let the Quran guide your direction of life, help you realize your full potential as a true believer. Now, if this, this is for you, if this feels, if any of this stuff feels familiar to you, right? You're struggling to understand, reflect, and ponder the meanings of the Quran and its application to everyday life. Frustrated by years of trying to gain knowledge of the Quran from various sources here and there to which you can't perhaps relate. Uh, you're a Muslim, but you don't know what God is really asking from you, what you're supposed to do in response to his ask. Uh, you're anxious and concerned about cultural trends around you. You want to be able to turn to the source for answers. Uh, you feel perhaps lost and stressed by the countless of opposing opinions about what exactly you're supposed to do. Uh, you're afraid that you may understand the Quran incorrectly or get the essence of what's being said wrong. So you rarely engage with it directly. So if any of this is kind of familiar uh, or it kind of um, you feel that it will hold you back, then hopefully this will help. So my view on it, which you know I've, I've uh, you know shared before, I think that there are lots of lots of positive things going on. You know, I'm always keen to emphasize that I certainly don't think that I'm the only one doing anything good. Like there's lots of good stuff happening, no doubt. But I do still think, you know, that the average literacy around the Quran and it, it is still very poor and needs a lot of improvement. So the point is to have a relatable, structured, and practical way, uh, and and a very accessible way. Like I think for me personally, as someone who is I don't really even like to call myself a teacher, but whatever I am, a facilitator, right? Like I like to just really make sure I'm, it's not just to deliver something and then everyone goes off. Like, like I will, I put myself forward to be of, of help and service to you, like in a very direct way, as I've mentioned before, right? You literally got my phone number so you can get in touch and people do and you have and some of you have, and we've had conversations and hopefully they've helped and helped move you forward. So for me, it's that as well. It's like, it's not just somebody on the other side of a screen, but someone who you can actually just talk to, engage with in a no, hopefully a normal way, um, and uh, you know, in 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 a way that will give you hopefully you know trust and confidence to 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 take your journey forward. So a back to basics approach, um, not heavily linguistic. I'm emphasizing that our plan is not to be heavily linguistic in the approach. I think a lot of excellent work is there on that, and in and in ways that people who are, have Arabic and don't have Arabic can perhaps appreciate. But my aim. It's a touch on some of those things, but really to emphasize the narrative, the message, the overall implications. Um, so I've cleaned this framework up a bit just to, uh, get, as you know, kind of uh, seem to be uh, have this unhealthy obsession with these um, uh, things beginning with the same letter. But we just really kind of cleaned up this framework to make it hopefully something easy and memorable, uh, this five part framework, right? To read, reflect, research, resolve, and rise. Okay, so reading with meaning and understanding, reflecting and pondering the implications, Researching, let's look at other sources, context, historically, now, et cetera, all of that. And then there's that decoding process. And I think that's the really, uh, that, that point I made yesterday, right? The Quran is a map for all to different terrains. So therefore, the way you read it for different terrains, different situations has to be kind of different, right? We need to map this uh, revelation and onto the reality that we're experiencing and, and connect those two things. Make resolution, resolve, make commitments, and then to rise and to actually then lift and elevate your standard of practice and your um uh, engagement unfortunately most people don't got, get past step one right which is the reading maybe some listening whatever but here this is the full the full thing so club revelation is where we can do all of these things um there's some kind of testimonials and comments from previous or existing members so i've just there they, they these are there as well i won't go through all of that right now all right this is what we were going to be doing now uh, just recently i want to mention because some of you here are members we recently had a consultation session on on what's to come uh, and there were some points in there which gave me pause for thought about certain things uh, that uh, that uh, I was planning or I'm planning. Now, my uh, my my thought right now is that to uh, proceed as planned, which is what was presented here. And um, so on certain things to poll. So by the time the 20, the doors will close on the next Thursday on 20th and then we'll see. OK, everybody who's now a member, we've got 10 days between. Right. Everyone. We know who's the members and when we're going to start. So inshallah, in that time, we'll do some uh, surveying, some polling, just to see people's preferences, where people are at, et cetera, et cetera. So to uh, inform some things in terms of the, the service. But also, um, uh, I want to progress through as planned. 
starting with uh, the 10th chapter. So we're not going to be starting with uh, Al-Fatiha and Baqarah, but we're starting with the 10th chapter. Now, there were some um, feed, some feedback and comments to say, look, why don't we do more of the short surahs, right? Uh, because these are things we commonly kind of recite, etc. cetera, um, or 30th juz, and then maybe, you know, uh, Yasin and uh, Ar-Rahman, you know, these kind of famous surahs. And, and I understand, I understand uh, there's potentially some benefit in that, but I see a lot of benefit in what I'm proposing as well. And so all things considered at this stage, I'm going to proceed as planned. If we feel, and if it's felt after, let's say, two to three months, I think that's a reasonable sort of time frame, that actually we need a change of direction, we need to pause here, do some other stuff and then come back. I'm open to that. You know, I'm open-minded to, 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 to change things. But in principle, the plan would be over the next year to cover these nine chapters. Okay, from Yunus, the beginning of Yunus, which I've been more, because I know I'm going to be starting with this, I've been more intensely reading and looking at recently. I mean... Come, it's a it's a mind blowing chapter. I mean, even if you were to join this just for a month or two, just to do Surah Yunus, like it's it's there's it's very deep, right? And there's a lot there's a lot there. Now, most of us, if I say to you, okay, what's in Surah Yunus? Like we do, like most of us will not be able to say even one thing about what's in Surah Yunus, which is to me a tragic. But that's what we want to change, right? We want to just build a relationship with all of these chapters in a way where you get a sense of the character of the chapter, the learnings from the chapter, like some key messages. And you feel really empowered with the message and you and 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 you feel that you're internalizing as well. So Yunus, Hud, Yusuf, Surah Yusuf, Ar-Ra'ad, Ibrahim, Al-Hijr, Al-Nahl. Al-Nahl, one of my favorites, very powerful. Al-Isra, uh, again, I think one of the more underappreciated and unusual surahs in the Quran, linguistically and stylistically. And Al-Kah, famous one. So some really uh, powerful um, uh, passages that we're going to be doing. So that is going to be over the course of um, uh, the, the next year. Um, now... Uh, just to mention now, each session will follow this kind of format that's here. Uh, and I'll zoom into this if you can't see it. So it's 90 minute sessions, recitation, translation for 10 minutes, contemplation. So everyone encourages us to think, to contemplate, to kind of um, just to you know, think through what's being, everything that's being said. Then my kind of 45 minute presentation of key insights and explanations from the passage that we're looking at. And then Q&A for 30 minutes. And then everyone conclude, okay, fine, like something actionable uh, as a sort of takeaway. Um, that's a proposal. We'll see how it goes, but effectively, that's the idea of how to uh, of how to do it. Now, um, each uh, each time we will be looking at uh, the, the amount of uh, the, uh, in order to do this much over a year, uh, which effectively is five juz, if you like, five sections of the Quran over the year. The amount that we'll be looking at in each uh, time is about one eighth of a juz, right? Um, so, for those of you who have got access to the daily dose of the Quran, which is this English translation of Quran, the audio translation, it's like one of those uh, in each session. And there'll be 40 live sessions in the year. So there'll be 12 breaks, excuse me, weekend breaks over the year. Um, that gives a time for catch up just to, you know, so it's not, you know, you have your holidays and catch up and just gives you times for things to settle, et cetera. Um, so, yeah. So or, as with this program, uh, well, uh, with what you would get as a member, uh, members already have, is that you would have access to an online portal. You can log in, you get access to all the materials, the presentation slides. Uh, the video and audio and everything is is there and it's loaded basically all on the on the day uh, on, on the sunday so that throughout on that day or, or later on the week you can catch up or recap uh, the daily dose of the quran you get access to that too anyway that's something which is available uh, there's a new telegram community for new members of club revelation as well uh, use the channel to communicate to interact with each other with myself etc obviously you get in touch with me anytime as i mentioned and one and one membership covers the whole household basically so all of these things which i mentioned uh, you get and there's basically different options. So one is the standard membership is £25 a month. So on average, you'd be getting, because you're getting 40 sessions over the year. So you're getting essentially in a month, uh, three and a half sessions. So around five, six hours of uh, live content material, slides and everything else. And all of the other stuff, right? One-to-one -one access and Telegram and everything else. So membership is £25 a month. You cancel any time. Uh, I hate to charge personally for anything, but... There's a reality of sustainability. There's a team behind this. We're serving hundreds of people for this program, thousands of people for Transform My Prayer, right? There's big plans in terms of how to take the leadership uh, agenda forward as well with our last day leader program. So I, uh, the way I would see it, see it is not so much that you're sort of acquiring something for yourself, you are of course, but that you're also facilitating like the, the overall mission here and the platform that uh, I myself and the team that I have is trying to create and to build and to develop to bring a lot of these things to basically to the world, right? And to ignite uh, these things within our community. So 25 pounds a month, you can cancel any time. So there's no obligation. So even if you just started, you, you can't, you, you, um, 
you can basically, if you joined and you pay 25 pounds to join and then you're paying 25 pounds a month, uh, you can do it, you can cancel, you can try it out basically. And, and within 14 days of when we begin from the 30th of April, so the 30th of April, and then I think whatever the first two weekends of um, May, like you can experience three sessions. And if you're not happy and you want a full refund, you get a full refund as well, right? So the idea is not to, uh, you know, sort of, um, it is to facilitate, as I said, that's what how the, these contributions are to facilitate the mission, really, nothing else. Um, because regardless, if there's five members or 5,000 members, I'm going to do this anyway, right? So, uh, but in terms of the, the, the ability to serve more people, the ability to, to reach out, et cetera, that's the uh, what's behind that. So, um, I, but yes, there's a full refund within 14 days. So you can experience three sessions. Uh, and if you're not happy, you think it's not for you, you've got other stuff, totally understand. Uh, if you feel like a, a commitment, and some of you, uh, uh, as um, uh, you know, who have already been members for some time, right? And as a benefit, and if you want to pay, pay upfront for a year, you can do so. If you want to pay upfront for six years, why six years? Because six years is the period of time we expect to finish the whole Quran, right? Um, and you want to do that and effectively make a saving uh, uh, in that way, then that's also an option as well. Okay, that's literally it. There's more information, FAQs and whatnot, but that's all I really wanted to say on that and how that's going to work. So what I will do <coughs> is that I will um, uh, share a link with you uh, in the chat and um, invite you all basically to, to participate, to consider, and to share this as well. Like you want to do, like I think a great way to do this is like, I don't know, if you're at university, for example, and you have like, you know, friends and in, in your Islamic community, society, or what have you, like for a few friends to do it together, it's, um, uh, it's a, just a, a, you know, powerful thing to do, because you can really you have your sort of, you know, trusted people that you're talking to, so you can assess the implications. Um, or, you know, within, obviously, within your household, it's already there, uh, within your, um, uh, uh, you know, just whatever, like people in your local community, or, you know, there's mums groups, or, colleagues at work, whatever it might be, you know, just any, encourage people to participate with you. Uh, very powerful.